panicking, just using his time trialing ability to just get himself, claw himself back on. De Moulin, he was a rider. If you allow him any time, any gap, that's very dangerous because of his, he's the world time trial champion and we know he can climb on a time like this, he will like it. So it's all together, the four riders up front. G Team Sky, they can afford to just sit, they can afford to just wait because, well, they have first and second on general classification. We know now, barring disaster, that Geraint Thomas will stay in the yellow jersey for another day. What we don't know is which of the four men out front here will be taking the stage on the historic, on the iconic Alp Duez. They are into the final 1,600 metres. Geraint Thomas, Chris Froome, Tom de Moulin and Romain Bardet two Britons, a Frenchman and a Dutchman. There's a flat finish, 200 metres to go and Geraint Thomas is the fastest on the flat of all four riders at the front of the race. Nibali is losing almost a minute, Quintana has lost more than a minute. 52 seconds for Nibali, minute and four for Quintana and Fuglsang but up the front, De Moulin is riding tempo on the front he's then got Geraint Thomas in the wheel Chris Froome in, in third Roman Bardet gritting his teeth in fourth. We are into the town the little village the ski resort of La Alpe d'Huez. There are wooden timbered houses, there are sloping roofs and there are huge crowds. People have been waiting on the top of this climb all day. Some people drove up here two, three days ago. Camper vans thick on the road.